We're in VMware Workstation. I'm going to show you how to install guest editions on both a Server 2016 and a Windows 10 computer. So after booting up the two virtual machines, we're going to go to where it says Player, and it says Manage, and choose Install VMware Tools. Now we're going to scroll down, click on File Explorer, and click on this PC. And you'll see a new DVD pop up, so you still have to do one more thing, and that is double click on the DVD, and you can see the installation begin. We'll go to the client version, Windows 10, and we'll go to Player, and we'll go to Manage, Install VMware Tools. And then we'll go down to File Explorer once again, and this PC and double click on the VMware tools. This one prompts me for an installation. I'll go ahead and choose yes and starts the installation process. Go back to our 2016 and we'll just go through the wizard and we'll just choose the typical installation and when it's done we'll need to restart our virtual machine. And we'll go back to our Windows 10 and the same thing happens. We'll click next Typical install. You don't have to put on the VMware tools, but it makes moving the mouse around better, makes the video better. Uh, all, all, over, uh, all around, it makes the entire experience in VMware smoother. So I definitely recommend you do that. Also, if you want to do things like copy and paste and USB drives, then you're going to want to have the tools installed. You will see a blinking like you just did during the installation. That's just the video drivers being updated. It's perfectly normal. And the installation finished on our Windows 10 virtual machine first. So we'll go ahead and restart. And it's still installing on our server 2016 because it uses a lot more resources. There we go, it's finished up, and we'll restart that one as well. That is how we install VMware tools in VMware Workstation.